It's been 60 years since Godzilla first arrived on film, uh, becoming an instant cornerstone of monster movies and very definitely a household name. And now 28 films later, and his most recent version, the 2014 directed by Gareth Evans number, is just about to hit uh, home entertainment and digital media. Now Owen Patterson is an award-winning production designer who worked on the film and he's joining us to have a couple of chats. I think we'll call him your Godzilla. Now, apparently he's the tallest Godzilla to date, coming in at around 106 metres in height. With a lot of the set pieces, such as the partial reveal with the battleships and then later on the Golden Gate Bridge, how hard is it to keep that sense of scale when you're still shooting on a very human level of the individual soldiers and people? The interesting thing, I think, with his, uh, his scale to start with, a lot of it started with the size of the Golden Gate Bridge. How deep was the water? how high it is from the top of the water to the platform. And so all of those things come into consideration when we were going to say, is he going to be 100 metres high? Is he going to be 70 metres high? Maybe he needs to be a bit higher. And at one point, actually, he was quite a bit taller again. But then that was decided that, that over, he overscaled then the sort of protagonists, the, um, the Hock Mutos and the Mutos. So it came back to being at like that 100 metres. And it worked well for you know, the relationship to the you know, Golden Gate Bridge, it worked well for the ships that you saw. That were, and we built both ships that were uh, digital, completely digital, and we also built decks of ships uh, that we could have our actors physically react upon. I find it really interesting that we've gone from man in a rubber suit back to sort of you know, a fair bit of motion capture for this particular Godzilla. Does having that make it easier to fit him in as a character, as like as a real concept for the film? You know, when you're making a contemporary film these days with the ability of visual effects to produce something, a digital character, be it a human being or a, a monster like Godzilla or the, a monster like the Hawk Mutos, it's it's incredible that you can bring something into the 21st century using those elements. Gareth was very, very adamant right from the start that he wanted the audience throughout the world who are familiar with the original films to say, this is Godzilla. He didn't want to reinvent that character. He wanted the small head, the little arms, huge thighs and the thick stubby tail because that's what people recognised as the original Godzilla. So when you came to do the digital version, of course you can make him kind of cooler, for want of a better word. You know, you can give him that edge that is realistic. You could believe the Godzilla and our Godzilla. You know, the visual effects guys, Jim Riegel and his huge team, are geniuses, you know. They really put together the kind of perfect piece of movement whether they did motion capture or whether it was animated, but they got all of those muscles that you would expect to move at a particular moment that we just accept. Look, I know you've just wrapped up uh, shooting uh, Gods of Egypt with Alex Proyas. Can you give us a hint on what you're working on next or is that still under wraps? I'm going to travel on Wednesday. I'm going to go and do, uh, for Marvel, Captain America 3, for, um, which is a continuation of the story of the Winter Soldier.